Welcome to League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Rengar, the Pride Stalker. Rengar is a melee assassin, fighter, and jungler. Utilizing his unique ferocity mechanic, he can amplify his abilities to take down single foes or hold the front line. Rengar's basic abilities build ferocity when they hit an enemy. Once Rengar's ferocity is full, his next basic ability will be significantly stronger and return him to zero. Additionally, Rengar has his own unique item called the Bone Tooth Necklace. It grants him bonus attack damage and also grants stacks on kills or assists and loses stacks on death. As Rengar reaches certain stacks, he gains bonus effects such as movement speed, armor penetration, and increased leap range. Rengar's passive is Unseen Predator. Whenever Rengar is in brush or stealth, his next basic attack will leap at his target, placing him in melee range. Savagery causes Rengar's next basic attack to deal bonus damage and then temporarily grants him increased attack speed. When used with maximum ferocity, Savagery deals significantly increased damage and increases the potency of the attack speed buff. For the best overall damage output and jungle speed, I recommend maxing Savagery as soon as possible. Battle Roar damages all nearby enemies. As long as Battle Roar hits an enemy, Rengar temporarily receives bonus armor and magic resist. At maximum ferocity, Battle Roar also heals Rengar for a percentage of his maximum health. For extra durability, take a point in Battle Roar early. If you need even more, consider maxing it by level 13. Otherwise, wait until last. Bola Strike tosses out a bola at target enemy, damaging it and applying a slow for a few seconds. With maximum ferocity, Bola Strike also briefly roots his target in place. In order to help chase down foes, take a point in Bola Strike early on. If you find your opponents escaping you, try maxing Bola Strike by level 13. Otherwise, one point should suffice. Rengar's ultimate is Thrill of the Hunt. When activated, Rengar begins to stealth. While stealth, Rengar moves faster, rapidly regenerates ferocity, and sees nearby enemy champions through the fog of war. Because of the stealth, this will allow him to leap at his target. As with all ultimates, take Thrill the Hunt at levels 6, 11, and 16. Rengar has a number of flexible jungle paths. One of the most aggressive is to start at the Wraith Camp, clear it with savagery, and then head to the Elder Lizard. While killing this camp, make sure to learn Bola Strike at level 2 and ensure you reach maximum ferocity without spending it on an amplified ability. With this opening, you can sneak up behind one of the lanes. Leap in from the brush, land Bola Strike first, and hit Savagery for some burst damage. As a result, Rengar picks up an easy first kill onto Ezreal. To counteract this level 2 gank, place an early Sight Ward in the river leading up to your lane. Rengar flashes into range of graves, locking him down with Bola Strike. However, Advanced Warning allows the enemy champions to escape. The optimal time to gank any lane is when your opponents are pushed more than halfway up the lane. Rengar comes in to gank the bottom lane and even passes by an enemy vision ward. Unfortunately, the position of Graves and Taric is such that Rengar can easily pin down his foe with Bola Strike, tank counterattacks with Battle Roar, and pick up the kill. Rengar's abilities can let him join in on kills even when dangerously wounded. Despite taking a lot of harass from Twisted Fate, Thrill the Hunt allows Rengar to close in on his prey. Once Morgana gets into range, Rengar uses a ferocity-charged Battle Roar to regain some health and bursts down Twisted Fate with Bola Strike and Savagery, taking him down underneath the turret. When ganking in the mid-game, try to sneak up behind your foes using Thrill of the Hunt. The leap gives Rengar an easy kill on Leona before he turns to face Corky. Bola Strike locks him in place as he goes to work. Note that regular and ferocity versions of abilities have separate cooldowns, so Rengar is able to hit a regular Bola Strike, slowing down Corky enough for Nunu to come in and assist in the kill. In most fights, focus on taking down high damage or low health targets first. Though Leona is in the front, Rengar runs past and aims for Corky, taking him down almost immediately. After, Leona makes for an easy kill as Bola Strike and Ice Blast keep her from running very far. Proper target selection gives Rengar a double kill. Whenever you're facing off against Rengar, try to get out of the brush as soon as possible. Here Shivana tries to escape with a stolen golem buff, but Rengar leaps onto her and lands Bola Strike dealing massive damage. Although Shivana continues running away, Rengar is able to consistently leap after her with almost every attack, picking up an easy kill. Even if you're not having a great game and being in melee range might mean death, Bola Strike is a great way to assist your team. Rengar first opens up on Darius with Thrill the Hunt and Savagery, taking him down but receiving a lot of damage in the process. From here, Rengar tries to stay a bit farther back, not wanting to give up the kill. Noticing Malzahar preoccupied, he's able to sneak up and land Bola Strike plus a basic attack, taking him out. 
Coming back into the fight with his team, he spots Wukong initiating onto Caitlyn. A quick bola strike completely stops him in his tracks, wasting Wukong's ultimate. Moments later, Rengar flanks around behind the enemy turret. He tags Varus with a bola strike and makes his way through the jungle. Once he gets to the brush, he lies in wait for an opportunity to strike. The moment comes as Wukong dives in, allowing Rengar to close with Bola Strike and Savagery, picking up his team's fourth kill of the fight. In a team fight, Rengar's duty is to stick onto and disrupt squishy high damage enemies. Thrill of the Hunt places Rengar squarely behind Varus. Unfortunately, no one on Rengar's team comes in to help kill the pinned foe, but it still allows him to absorb a lot of damage and still come back into the fight, tagging Malzahar with Bola Strike and leaping in after Varus as his team takes a win in the battle. I suggest building Rengar with a split focus on durability and damage from his basic attacks. Try attack damage marks, armor seals, magic resist per level glyphs, and attack damage quintessences. 2190 masteries should serve you well, focusing on physical damage increases in offense, plus minion damage reduction and health in defense. Summoner spells have a lot of options. Take smite when jungling and consider exhaust for ganking power or flash for mobility. Otherwise, ignite is a great choice for better champion killing. For an example item build, open with Boots of Speed and Health Potions, plus a Prospector's Blade and Dominion. Take a Riggle's Lantern when jungling. Grab the Bone Tooth Necklace and upgrade your boots before continuing your build. Items like Phage and Hexdrinker offer a nice mix of damage and durability, especially once you upgrade to Maw of Memordius and Frozen Mallet. Last Whisper and Randuin's Omen should round out your build. Thanks for tuning in to the Rengar Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above and leave us your comments just below the video.